If you could film and direct one movie with all budget paid, what movie would you create? Could it be a series instead of a movie? If so, there are several book series I'd like to see made the way I want them made. First and foremost, a put accurate wheel of time. The abomination that Rafa Jenkins has made needs to be burned in a fire. Secondly, an animated series of Jim Butcher's Cinder Spires books. I don't know why, but I just think animation is the only way to go for that dot dot. I'd love to see the Dresden Files made into a series of movies. I know the question is about one movie, but honestly, I can't think of any one movie that I want made. One is too limited. If I didn't have to worrying about funding, I'd invite the most famous actors, screenwriters, producers and directors. I'd give them the freedom to do as they please, but with one condition let them all work together on one film. And while they're collaborating on this film, I'd shoot a reality show about how these avant-garde professionals try to outdo each other. In the end, even if the film turns out to be mediocre, we'd have a cool reality show. If I could make a movie, I would want to create something that combines elements of science fiction, mystery, and philosophical inquiry. The plot would follow a group of scientists and philosophers who stumble upon a series of anomalies that question their understanding of the universe. As they delve deeper into these mysteries, they discover a hidden truth that forces them to confront their own beliefs and perceptions. There are thousands of amazing war movies featured during WW1, WW2, Vietnam, etc. I would 100 make a movie on one of the numerous vicious and intense battles during the Korean War outpost Vegas, chosen reservoir, etc. The Korean War truly is the black sheep and forgotten war we need an amazing film to bring awareness back. It should be a film based on real events. In the plot, humanity, as a result of unprecedented funding from the scientific and space industry, improves rockets and completely moves to other planets and begins to explore space. In the second part, they stand the Death Star and start an intergalactic war with a different species. A mock documentary mockumentary about how wildly wealthy and successful I've become. Also, there'd be a cause where I have to live on set for the duration of the shoot. It'll be a complete life cycle film, so we'd need about 60 years of film. The Muller's own Book of the Fallen, including The Crimson Guard, The K Chain Schmal, The Crippled God, Casa Orlong, everything. Most importantly, Tale Bedict, the greatest fantasy series ever written. Just edges out Lotta for me. I'd go Elder Scrolls universe and tell a story with Lord of the Rings levels of production value. Trilogy. Quadrilogy. Q-U-I-L-O-G. I dot dot. Whatever it takes to be faithful to the lore and make a stunning cinematic experience. A Resident Evil live adaptation that's faithful to the series. Unlike the others which barely follow the story just invent their own thing. After the shitty Netflix show, the series needs a good adaptation. Adapt Percy Jackson faithfully. That series was a part of my childhood and the movies suck especially The Sea of Monsters. Compressed and mixed events from the rest of the series on that movie. Sucks as a fan. An actual well-made. Palico-led far epic of a monster hunter movie. Follow the little guys helping the human hunters until they gather enough materials to make top tier equipment and take down a fatalist. ARZ, and I mean a true to book version, where the message was humanity works together to fight extinction and a common enemy, and not the fate of a world rests in the hands of fucking Brad Pitt. At least three hour long runtime, I would keep viewer in suspense the entire time wondering what it will end like. Then I would come up with most disappointing ending in whole cinematography. I'd love to make an HP Lovecraft movie. Either Call of Cthulhu or At the Mountains of Madness. Especially with today's special effects, you could craft some confusing and horrifying images. Street Fighter, replace JCVD with myself and do all to the coke. Dollar 10k week coke budget umau. Movie and not series. Probably a vermin type action story with the five. Short and simple. Series calls for a complete Horace heresy. 
or at least the fall of Horus in the first three books. Our director blockbuster epic where Julius Caesar and Cleopatra team up to solve mysteries in ancient Rome. Featuring chariot chases, cryptic hieroglyphs, and togas with pockets, I want a gender-swapped Jane Austen adaptation. Felt like a few years ago it was all the rage to do male-to-female remakes. But I want to see a female-to-male remake. The Hobbit movies disappointed me. So, maybe I just make my own. I tried to keep it to a modest 3.5 hours. Which I think is doable. It would be a musical. The Tale of Baron and Luthien by J.R.R. Tolkien. A beautiful love story set during the first age of Middle-earth. I would love to see that story on film. I'd do a remake of Brewster's Millions, but change the third act of Brewster take on social media. Still can't work out who I'd cast for the lead. Probably a clown porno horror schlock piece starring me, Natalie Portman, and Charlie's Theron. I've been spitballing a script by Cool Seltzer Skelter. Redo the Netflix A Man in Full miniseries to actually follow the book. Also would love to adapt Nelson DeMille's Cathedral to the big screen. Okay, hear me out. It's a movie about vampires, ostensibly. But underneath is actually about the reunification of Germany, funny. A documentary on what happens to the life of a filmmaker who got paid $500 million to direct one movie, starring me. If that wasn't clear, a brown kid that was born and raised in America post 9-11, trying to understand what is going on and how it affects them going out. Honestly, I try to make a legitimately kick us alien versus predator movie. If only I can play with life-size alien and predator, I'd be happy to give you a concept for a big Hollywood blockbuster that would kick us at the box office dot 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 but not for free. The Arthur C. Clarke book Rendezvous with Rummer. I can barely imagine what the scene when the lights first turn on would be like. That one MatPat movie trailer by Stick Studes got a genuinely interesting story. A documentary of what it's like to give a middle class person $100 billion which would cover their entire lives, starring me. I love animated movies. I recently watched the Japanese film Your Name and wish I could make something like that. Count Popula, in a weird twist of fate. An immortal vampire is elected as the Pope. Hijinks ensue. Something that could piss off as many people as possible. Jesus and Muhammad in a romantic comedy. I would tell the story of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I mean, can you imagine the bands? A Stockcraft movie with the horror elements of the Zerg on full display. Or a Shadow movie. A serious remake of the original Land of the Lost TV show. Without goddamn Will Farrell, I would like to see a good adaptation of Ender's Game. The Harrison Ford movie sucked. A true sequel to the first Pacific Rim film, the other sequel was not the greatest. I want to see a live action from software movie one day before I die, so probably that. I'll pick randomly from the tens of scripts and script ideas I have in my laptop. A smashed movie with loads of action stars just simply fighting each other. Recreate the Marvels and not kill all the fun and good superheroes. Something based on historic events. I would make sure it is so accurate. An epic movie about Carl XII, Carol as Rex, with Sabaton Soundtra. A movie depicting Chicago street gangs, specifically Terror Towns and LMB. I just want a good Animorphs movie, or better yet an updated TV series. Make a good Star Wars movie. There hasn't been one since Rogue One. Mortal Engines. But, you know, try to do a good job this time. Probably a porno starring me and all the best porn stars. Turn the novel Hyperion by Dan Simmons into a SCIF epic. Star Wars but with the Indian mythology and culture involved. An 11-part movie. Spanning three decades. A war and peace. I've always wanted to see snow crash on the big screen. SCI fee mover set actually in space so I can go there. A real true-to-book version of the Dark Tower series.